At the barber shop. At the barber shop, what activities can you do? Watch the video to know what they do. Situation 1. Ask customers for opinions. Hi, Mr. Bell. What can I do for you today? Hi. The same as usual. Um, the haircut and shave? Right. You cut the ground under my feet. <laughs> I understand. You're my frequenter. Okay, let's do it. Sure, take a sit down here and I will do it for you. But how do you want your hair cut? Just trim it lightly, and remember the beard shave also. Of course! How about I do some new trendy hairstyles? It's trendy these days. I don't think I'm suitable for it. I'm going to stick with the old classic style, like in the past. A few months ago, I tried dyeing my hair. People said that it makes me look older. I understand. Everyone suits different hairstyles. Yes, so when I get a chance, I'll try a different hairstyle. For now, I will leave it as normal. Okay. Now you can lower your back and relax. I will start now. Cool. Done. You can look through it again. If there is anything you want to change, tell me. To be honest, the beard is okay, but the hair is quite long. A bit shorter. I think this is longer than my expectations. Okay, no problem. Anything else or just that? No, that's the only thing. The rest is okay, I guess. Is it okay now? Perfect! That's the hairstyle I really want. You've done a great job. I really like it. Thank you. Situation 2. Overloaded Barbershop Hello, can I help you? Hi. I want to have a haircut, but it seems overloaded here. Well, unfortunately, yes. Because today is the weekend, many people have booked to have a haircut. Oh, what a pity. So I need to go back home, but it is raining cats and dogs now. You can wait for us. There are only three more customers ahead of you. Where can I sit and wait? Please sit and wait at the table over there. We have a variety of books, magazines with different topics. Or you can preview the hairstyle you want to do in our photo album. There are many new hairstyles. It's also on the table. Okay, sounds good. You guys really understand the need of customers. We always put the needs of our customers first. And you go there and sit first, please. I'll bring fresh tea and cookies right away. Thanks. There seems to be a few people at the waiting table. Maybe it'll be my turn soon, right? Yes, I hope so. How long will it take? I think it will take you about 30 minutes. Don't worry. If it's your turn, I'll call you right away. I really appreciate your service. That's the reason why I like your barber shop and why you have many customers every day. Thank you. So please, wait a bit. Okay. Situation 3. An appointment at the barber shop. Good morning. How can I help you? Hi. I want to have a hair dyeing. Definitely yes, but first, can I know your name to check the appointment? <gasps> oh, appointment? The last time I came here, I didn't have an appointment. Is that right? Yes, actually, you just need it to set in order to be served better and faster. 
but if you didn't, I'm afraid you will have to wait some time for your turn, and that is a little longer than usual if you set an appointment first. Tough break. I didn't even know that. Well, we started doing this last week. We've reminded customers through some communication channels about this for quite a time before, but I guess some of the customers are way too busy to check that information. There are many people like you, so don't worry. That's right. Last week, I was on the go because of my deadlines at school. Maybe that's the time I missed your information. Right. So what should I do now? Do I need to set an appointment now? If you have time, you don't need to do that. You can wait in line for your turn. Great. How long does it take? At the moment, I think it will take you about 20 minutes. Can you wait for this time? If you are in a rush for somewhere else, I will help you to make an appointment and you can come again later, in the time convenient for you. No, today is my day off, so I think I will wait for it. Hope it won't be too long. Don't worry. Please go to the table over there and sit down to wait. We have tea, cookies, and magazines for you. Okay, I got it. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Situation 4. A Frequenter Hey, long time no see, Jill. Oh, hey, Danny. How are you these days? Not too bad. And is the business still going well? You see, like any other business in the pandemic, my business wasn't as usual. At the same time, I still pay for the rent expense monthly. Me too. My restaurant hasn't had many customers lately. Most of them are at home because of social distancing. It's a good way, but it makes it difficult for business people like us. That's really down on our luck. Right. But this pandemic appears suddenly. No one wants it. <sighs> Not only you and me, but also some people were no better. Like a nightmare. I hope we can manage it. Luckily, my house owner is really nice. He agrees to reduce the rent for me. Wow, such a lucky person you are. I should also make an agreement with my landlord. Yes, you should do that. We have to try our best to manage the situation. Okay. Anyway, we have to go on with our normal life. Please help me cut my hair. Of course. Do you still want to cut like last time? Right. Okay, I'll do it right now. I will go to your restaurant for dinner. Oh, welcome. Or you can order food to take home. We have a delivery service. Oh, really? Is it new? Yes, one way to manage this situation. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.